Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to be testing the HDLRC T-Rex 60 Amp BL Heli 32 ESC. Now this is pretty insane. So it's it takes a 3 to 6 S LiPo. It's rated for 60 amps on a 5 S LiPo and a 45 amps constant current on 6S LiPos, which is pretty insane. It doesn't have a voltage regulator on board, and the MOSFETs, they're stating they're using the N-channel MOSFETs from Toshiba. So they're Toshiba N-channel MOSFETs, and it has three ounce of copper, and um, yeah, so it's a 32-bit ESC, which runs 1,200, D-Shot 1,200. It does have a pad for telemetry, and uh, it's saying it improves system efficiency and reduces heat and all that kind of crazy good stuff. Now this is, you know, it's just it's just claims. But from the beginning, we could already see that we do have a telemetry pad, as you can tell, it's right there in the middle. We have the signal and the ground for the signal, and we also have our power. Now it's just um, it's pretty nice. It has how many caps does it have right here? It has one, two, three, four, five, six. So we have six caps on that side. It's just a total of six caps. However, they're pretty large, as you can tell right there. Those are pretty big right there. So I don't know how well this is going to do. Hopefully it's going to be pretty awesome. And uh, that's what we're here to test right now. So let's just quickly get some of its uh, dimensions here before we move up to the noise testing and get its current weight without the wires. So and then, yeah, just before we continue, a couple things that it comes with. It does come with the power uh, silicone wires for the ESC. It comes with this type of wire. So however, you know, as you can tell, they didn't add the extra wire for telemetry but they give you an extra port on it. So yeah, but you don't need it anyways because we just solder most of our wires anyways. And they give us a cleat heat shrink, which is pretty cool and an ugly sticker. So let's just move that to the side. All right, let's just get its current dimension. So its current width is 15.37 and its total length from the highest points is 27.3 millimeters. And uh, it's overall height from the highest points here. We'll just take these two, these caps and that. Around six millimeters. So that's its highest points. Its highest points measured from here to here is around six millimeters. So overall, I mean, it's pretty nice. I really can't say much right now until we actually get it tested. So enough talking and let's get started. All right guys, so the testing is complete and to my surprise, it actually did very good. Now you might say, how good did it do? It actually did almost as good as the Tico 32. Now almost, not quite, but almost. And I'll show you that in a little bit. So let's take a look here. We have, currently we have on the right, we have the throttle noise level of the HGLRC T-Rex. And on the bottom, we have the noise right here from like, you know, maneuvers, hardcore maneuvers and stuff. So here, if you take a look at this, you'll see spe special lines or just like, you know, lines with different thickness here. This is 10% throttle, 25% throttle noise, 50% throttle, 75% throttle noise, and 100% throttle noise. And uh, on the left here, we're using the Emax formula because it's kind of in the same class, I would put it, just to show you a good comparison of uh, how good this ESC actually is. So this is a pretty darn good ESC. It's a, it's a, it's above average. It's noticeably above average. Now the high end best ESC is the Tico 32 in testing that I've ever done. And this one is a uh, one step below. This one actually is doing better than the DYS Aria, which is very good because it's like the Tico 32, this one and the DYS Aria. However, this one I have not the HLRC T-Rex. I still have not built it. I'm about to put it right now on my ESC testing quad with Emax 2306-2400 KV and take it out and to get a real nice uh, testing, real real world testing for it. So as you can tell here, um, it's it's pretty clean. Like for, for example, let's compare it to the Tico 32 so you kind of get an idea. You see how good that is? That's very good. This one right now is the Tico 32 throttle level noise. That That's pretty damn good actually. Uh, that is pretty impressive. I didn't expect that to be honest. So that, that's first good sign here. Now, if we take a look at the noise, yes, it does have noise. A lot of ESCs have noise, but it's very manageable. I mean, the, the inner components should be able to withstand most of this here. And uh, this is the reason why I really want to go put it on the build right now and actually take it out for a flight. Overall, this thing is looking very good. We got a maximum voltage spike of 25 volts, which is pretty good. Uh, voltage drop 9.8 volts, which is not bad at all um nowadays we're just powering straight from the vt from the battery power so it really doesn't matter here 
but overall uh i'm i'm very impressed i really am but it is pretty expensive if it was 15 dollars esc it would have been considered almost one of the best budget esc and don't forget the fact that this thing is rated up to 60 amps and the mosfets are showing that you know it's running very good the motors sound very smooth i didn't usually when i'm running this hardcore test here you could i can also sometimes hear um what is it? It's kind of like grinding noise. Uh, it I didn't get that. So that that's a very good sign that it's it's a pretty good ESC and it is pretty expensive. That's you know one drawback of it, and it doesn't have the BL Heli you know current sensor and all that kind of stuff. But it does have telemetry for RPM. But overall, this one is, is not a. It's pretty good on the testing here. I'm actually very surprised. It's the third best single ESC. Uh, I've tested the order would be Tico 32. No, actually, I think this would be the second until I go do the real world testing. In theory, it should be Tico 32, this one, and then the DYS Aria. This is how the uh, the best three ESCs that I've I've seen tested so far. Now the DYS Aria, I've done real world testing, absolutely beautiful. Tico 32, insanely gorgeous, and uh, the HLRC will be upcoming tomorrow or after tomorrow. So yeah, the DYS, uh, the HLRC T-Rex will be, the video will be coming up, I think, after tomorrow. I'm about to go put it on a build right now and take it out for a flight. So overall, if you're thinking of getting this, it looks absolutely good. Uh, I really can't say much right now until I go take it out. But so far, the testing is good. And the testing never really failed me, which I'm very happy and pleased about. And um, yeah, so it's a good sign. That's how you could take it, you know. Uh, do your research. See other people if they've used it before going, going ahead and purchasing it if you're very much worried. But so far here, it seems like it has the green light and it could be the second best ESC uh, I've seen so far or I've tested so far. And um, yeah, and that's it, guys. So I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please consider joining my Patreon. Help support this channel. Help it keep it going. Uh, I need all the support I could currently get right now. And you could also use the affiliate links down below. You don't even have to purchase the same thing that's in my link. You can just click it and go purchase whatever you want. It gives me a couple cents here and there, and it really does help the channel. It helps me bring in more components in, more testing, and uh, helps me build my complete setup, which I'm currently working on still, is the um, set up a complete quad and do this kind of testing with a real battery and DVR footage, which is what we really want to see. You know, this is kind of okay it's just good results it's, it's very informative but we i want the real thing i want to be able to simulate flight right here on the bench while i'm monitoring all four escs and uh, i currently have most of the equipment to do that and i just ask for your guys support it would be great and i do a lot of giveaways uh, on on patreon so that that's also awesome and uh, i really hope someone learned something today or just got some useful information and uh please don't forget to like share and subscribe and uh, we will see you next time see you guys take care